I'm so sick of hearing this music everywhere I go. I think Kenny likes it. Go on. Apologize. I hate apologizing. Underestimates me, but then they turn their back, and I'm like, boo, and they're like, what? You think you're better than me? <laughs> Oh my god, what the fuck? I look good, I look good, I look delicious. I look like a fucking busted up radiator. <laughs> This is a message to all the haters out there. If you don't like what I do, but you watch everything I'm doing, you're still a fan. Artists, show me something that you've made that makes you go, I have no clue how the hell I made this, but this looks amazing. No. No. Key. Key. Oh. Oh. Pinocchio. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I never meant to make you cry. <laughs> you liar! Look at what you've done! Everyone underestimates me. But then they turn their back and I'm like, boo! <laughs> Vous êtes des animaux. Want waffle fries. Fuck that little mouse, cause I'm an albatross. <laughs> Thank you.
sand And you found a little band You told me you fell in love with it Hadn't gone as I planned When you had to bid adieu Said you'd never love a new the tutorial on how to make this eye since most of you were requesting for it. Just to let you know, it's for cardboard based dragons only, because otherwise the eye will not function completely as you want it to function. So let's get into the tutorial. So what you're gonna need is a ping pong ball, which is the eye, a light, if you want to make it light up, I'll show that as well, some pipe cleaners, scissor, cardboard, and a glue gun. If you are scared to use the glue gun, ask someone older than you because for real, these stuff burns. So let's get into it. So now you want to make a mark where your eye is going to be and you're going to make a hole in the back of it. The hole you can make with a glue gun's nozzle. It really works well to melt the plastic easily. So yeah, you can use that to create your hole if you're going to do a light. If you're not going to do a light, don't do this. All right, so how I extend my little lights is to put pipe cleaners on the edges of this thing. The wire that's inside of a pipe cleaner is actually, it can actually transfer electricity. So this way you can transfer electricity through this by stripping off the um, pieces, you know, the little hairs on the sides of the pipe cleaner. You can easily make two little strips and it should look something like this. 
So now we can attach the sides or the little wires to each other to actually extend the light. And as you can see, now we have to do this with both sides. So now it should look like this. And in the end, it should also be stripped. So now I can add this back to the little light I have to build again. And as you will now see, we now have a very long extended light. And it actually lights. Very long extended. And now we can use it to put it in the eye. So once you've got it in, I'd recommend putting it nicely in the center and then glue gun it to make sure it doesn't move around inside of the eyeball. And now it just looks like an extended robot eye I ripped out of someone's someone's head. So now what I'm going to do is paint the eye before actually putting it into the dragon or else you won't be able to get it out again. Now that I have finally made the eye, I can now actually make the parts to put it in. So you can take a piece of cardboard, um, whatever you want, you can actually do it on the dragon already, but cut out a hole where the eye can literally just, just poke through. It shouldn't be able to go right through, just poke through. So now you should see this can actually move left, right. It's not working that well because we still need to add the other stuff, but you can look for part two for this. But this is how it looks like so far, and I'll show you how to put it inside of the dragon and how it works to move it around. So yeah, look for part two. Well guys, welcome to part two of how to install one of these eyes into a dragon puppet or a puppet in general to make it work. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install it into a cardboard dragon because it's the only dragon puppets or puppets that will work. So yeah, let's get into it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make at the back of this thing, we're going to make another ring that's going to be in the back so the eye can move freely without falling out of the cardboard constantly. So let's quickly do that. So what I'm going to do is cut out these little triangles and make a hexagon shape ring which will hold the eye in place. Like this. Now you'll see these, these sides and then what you're going to do is put them together like that. By bending it like this, and gluing it together, you'll get a hexagon shaped circle. After you made it, it should look something like this. A little hexagon type of little basket. So then you can just put the eye through. And then it should just hold the eye like this. So it shouldn't be too big or too small. Just enough to like hold it in a little bucket so the eye can move freely inside of it. So yeah, now we can connect it all together. So you're first going to make little cardboard cutouts like these, so you can put it all around the hexagon, and I'll show you where. Like this. Now it looks like a little basket that you can put anything inside of. So now I'm going to measure it to the point where this thing comes in the back like this, to hold the eye in place. So you're going to have to measure and bend these a little bit to the sides, put the eye in, and then paste this on here. And then you'll see how it looks like. So you bend them like this. Now you put the eye inside and paste it on the cardboard. And now the little bucket should look like this inside with the eye. And you'll see the eye can move freely all around as you like. So now I'm going to show you how to make the little ring at the back. And if you didn't do this whole light thing, you'll just have a normal eye without this string. Then it should be easier for you to make a little thing on your finger, like you would move any eye of any blinking dragon or anything else like that. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Because I have a light, don't worry, it's not that hard. So you'll be fine. So I make a little finger ring like this that only goes on the finger. So when you push forward, it looks backwards. Middle brings it to the middle, and backwards brings it to look forward. Alright, and by the time that you're done, it should look like this. You can make a little gizmo to the way it works to your fingers. These two are being held this way. And yeah, you can you move the eye around, you can switch it on and off. There you go. Hope it helped. Skullcrusher is a cursed skeleton dragon 
He is a father of one daughter named Scarlet and his ex-wife Skyrin. He also has his father named Ramshackle. His age is round about 125 years old and Skullcrusher died 80 years ago. The reason how he got cursed is unknown, but we know his ex-wife had some sort of part in the betrayal of Skullcrusher just to keep him for herself. The curse that is laid on him doesn't really allow him to be himself. He wants to fight for good, but yet whoever controls him can use him for whatever they want. Nobody is sure of who has the control over him, but nobody is either so sure who can break the curse. Yet it is a tough one to solve or even crack the case. But nobody really knows who Skullcrusher was before he died or what he used to fight for. Except that we all know he wanted to fight for good. Though in this way, he roams the earth now as an immortal dragon with the ability to control lightning and blood of his enemies, mattering if he fights them with his bottom jaw. If he gets the hand on them, he can control them like a puppet, mattering for how much blood he's gained, no matter how long he can keep control of them for over a long period of time. He is a very strong dragon with immortal skills, though of course they nobody can hurt him, he can't hurt everyone. The one dragon that he cannot defeat is Ramshackle, his own father. Firstly, because Ramshackle is made out of metal, and Skullcrusher does not have the strength to bite through. But that doesn't mean he can't take on any dragon below him, which means anyone who is not immortal is pretty much dead. Either way, Skullcrusher does try to fight this evil to gain the love of his life. Of course, as you might know, he has a crush on Widow, but has a fear of if she will love him back for how he looks like and how scary he might be. Unfortunately, the only feelings and weakness Skullcrusher has is his heart, since he doesn't have any other internal organs except for the heart. So, who knows where the curse lies? Might be in the heart or anywhere else. And who knows how to break it? But either way, I hope that explains who he really is. I can't buy a house in this climate. I can't. <gasps> oh, sorry, Wilbur. Have a carrot, please. Calm your... Why didn't you tell me? Well, because I wanted us to fail. Dingle bongle, dingle dangle, yickety doo, yickety da, ping pong, lippy tappy toot ta. Um, excuse me, what the actual fuck are you doing in my house? Remember what I taught you, Quasimodo. You are deformed. I am Well, that's a problem. But not my fault. I did everything I could, and you did too. Also, why are you still here? If I can't have you,
Plastik, Bomba, Fantasta. Con el Pazmix, Missy, Zomep, Zomka. It's a new character. We're gonna have to redo this whole theme song. Whatever you say, kid. Could also mean you just have a jump start and losing your mind.
Hi, yo, here are some information. She didn't copy virus. I gave her the permission to make a brother for virus. That's why he's kin dissimilar to mine. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. Make a wish and blow out the candles. <laughs> Oops, missed one. Now your wish can't come true. Lucky for you, because I wished you were dead. Okay, I'll show it to you. There are also some tutorials on TT you can search. Bye. I think you meant these. Get paper on something to draw with. Don't steal people's designs, it's just rude. Your design can be as big or small as you want be creative. I like drawing walls because I like the style. But you can make it anything you want. I usually make big ears. Adding some fluff to the ear. Adding some horns for more detail. This is how I draw my eyes. Don't mind it's a little messy because I was using one hand. Your dragon can be blind, have no pupils, be normal, or just do whatever you want. I like making my noses look shiny. Add some details, then draw it. Cut it. うーん、いつも通りでいいよ。それじゃつまんない。じゃあ、お任せで。わかった。うん。できた。小林かわいい。ちょっと可愛すぎかな。ごめん、違うのお願い。わかった。うん。できた。これも可愛い。うん。これも